It was recently announced by the producer of the upcoming Dragon Quest XI that the game will not be censored or toned down over in the West, something that was specifically mentioned as being left intact with the game's puff off scenes, which are a long running gag within the series. The puff off scenes are also something that used to be notoriously censored in the West due to their suggestive nature, and with that in mind, today we'll be taking a look at some of the ways puff off has been depicted throughout the series history, and then how these scenes got changed overseas. But to begin, what exactly is puff off? The term puff off was first featured in Chapter 15 of the original Dragon Ball manga, published in 1985. The phrase is used to describe placing a person's face between a woman's chest, and is a type of Japanese onomatopoeia. Incidentally, the character designer for all main games in the Dragon Quest series is none other than Dragon Ball's creator Akira Toriyama, thus it appears that he may have helped influence the inclusion of this element in the Dragon Quest games. Puffoff's first appearance in the Dragon Quest series would be in the very first game. At the entrance to the town of Rimulda, a woman will say to the hero, hey there boy, if you want a puff off, it's 50 gold. In the Western NES release though, the line was changed to, no, I have no tomatoes, I have no tomatoes today. Puff off was considerably more hidden away in Dragon Quest 2. There's a woman in the southwest corner of Lineport, and her dialogue differs depending on whether the princess is alive and in the party. In the Japanese version, if the princess is present, her dialogue wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary. However, if spoken to with either the princess dead or not yet obtained, she will offer a puff puff and the player is given the ability to respond with either yes or no. Selecting yes will have the puff puff be carried out with appropriate dialogue to match. If you select no however, the girl will call you an okama, which is a Japanese slang term for homosexual. Interestingly, the English version keeps the NPC's dialogue differing depending on whether the princess is alive and in the party or not. If the princess is present, she will say, be nice to one who lives here, she knows how to turn princess into tadpoles. If the princess isn't, she will instead say, Dost thou think I am pretty enough to be queen? And if you select yes, she will reply, Perhaps the great prince of Canock thinks so too. And if you say no, she simply exclaims, What's wrong? Dragon Quest 3 also included Puff Off, and this was also the first game which began the running joke of how the Puff Off would not be the lecherous act that the player was expecting. In the original Japanese version in the town of Aslam, a woman would greet a male character at night and offer him a Puff Puff. If he accepts, he would follow her to her room, where she insists he leaves his party members alone. There, the screen fades to black as the lights are dimmed, and dialogue from the player announces his enjoyment. When the lights come back on, it is revealed that it is the woman's dad performing the puff off and not to the woman herself. If you talk to the woman afterwards, she says, How was it? Your stiff shoulders should be better, come again. The English version did not change any of the action of the scene, such as separating from the party and the darkening of the lights. Instead, only the dialogue was changed. Instead of offering a puff off, the woman offers to tell the player's fortune. In the dark, the player is looking into a crystal ball when the woman's father announces that he's the one operating the crystal ball, upsetting the woman for spoiling her trick. Strangely, dialogue afterwards isn't changed, with the woman claiming that the player character's shoulder stiffness should be gone, despite no physical contact with him. Puff Off is featured twice in Dragon Quest 4, and one of these scenes was left uncensored in the West, despite Puff Off being spelt with one F instead of two. This scene can be activated by visiting the town of Mon Barbara, waiting until it's night, and entering the town with only one male character. In both the English and Japanese versions, a bunny girl on the second floor of the bar will offer the male character a Puff Off. If you accept, she will in both versions say a range of cryptic phrases related to Puff Puff, but with some unusual suffixes added to the end. Then when the dialogue is over, she will reveal that what she actually did was some sort of special spell or therapy that will make the character more popular with the ladies. The scene that did get censored over in the West happens earlier in the game during Chapter 1. A minor plot point in Chapter 1 revolves around a pair of characters who are husband and wife. The husband has lost his memories and when visited by his wife, he doesn't remember who she is. In the in the Japanese version, she helps kickstart his memory by performing a puff off, which is clearly stated in the dialogue. The husband enjoys this, and suddenly his memories are restored to normal. The original English release, however, changed this so the wife says, Don't you even remember this? Smack. It's not made clear what action the smack is supposed to represent, but this results in the husband regaining his memories. You may have noticed how we specified that this change was made to the original English release. You see, in the much later remake for the Nintendo DS, this scene would be changed yet again, but in a different way. Furthermore, the English DS release also went back and changed the previously uncensored puff off at the town of Mombombara and replaced it with getting your fortune told. The husband and wife scene, on the other hand, altered the dialogue 
dog so that she now helps him regain his memories by showing him her wedding ring, saying, Maybe your own wedding ring will jog your memory, eh? Remember how much this little beauty costs ye. Over in Japan though, the remake kept the puff pause for both of these scenes. The next Dragon Quest game released in the West was Dragon Quest 7. This is the first game to not change any of the puff puffs overseas. Both the puff of performance on the player character, which one can get from a woman on a balcony in Buckingham, and the move used in battle are left unchanged. Dragon Quest 8 continues this trend and also contains one of the most well memorable puff puff scenes in the series. Here you can discover a hidden puff puff parlour and any character including females can be seated in a chair and promised a puff puff by a voluptuous bunny girl. The character is blindfolded and then the puff puff is revealed to actually be two slimes being rubbed on the sides of their head. Puff puff will be censored one more time over in the west though. Much like the Dragon Quest 4 DS remake, the Dragon Quest 6 DS remake also altered all puff puff scenes in the English version. Version. In the Japanese versions of Dragon Quest VI, one of these scenes involves the player being offered a puff puff by a bunny girl in the town of Turnscoat. If the player agrees, they are led into a room by the girl and the rest of the party are made to wait outside. The screen then goes dim and the usual puff puff dialogue goes on. But when it's over, it is discovered that the girl was actually applying makeup on your face and your style points go up by 5. In the English version, all puff puff scenes will be changed to patty cake. Patty cake or patter cake as it's more commonly called is a popular English nursery rhyme that is often accompanied by a hand clapping game between two people. The scene just described for instance was altered so that the player is offered a private patty cake session instead. Then when the screen goes dim, the girl will sing the traditional patty cake song and the English version also adds in music symbols which aren't found over in Japan. The makeup part however was kept the same as in the Japanese version. Interestingly, one use of Puff Puff was left unchanged, this being the ability titled Puff Puff that the Gadabout job class can learn. It's also worth pointing out that the iOS and Android versions of both 4 and 6 are based on the censored DS versions and retain these changes. Dragon Quest 6 would be the last time for Puff Puff to be removed though. Dragon Quest Heroes for example has all of the Puff Puff scenes kept intact, as well as a trophy centred around seeing every Puff Puff scene. Dragon Quest Builders is especially notable as it actually contains a flashback to the first game in the series and the player being asked whether he would like a Puff Puff, just like in the original Japanese script. We don't want to spoil the new game but if it's like it's said to be, and with all puff offs being left intact, there will be many new puff offs in Dragon Quest XI too. Are you looking forward to Dragon Quest XI and what game would you like to see us cover next? Please let us know in the comments below and until next time, thank you for watching.